Those, my friend, are not tiny forks helping someone enjoy a nibble of corn. Our sharp little scissory things there are part of a new surgical robot prototype just shown off by the good people at Sony. Quite the step up from the Sony remote control you might be used to, the company says this thing is a small, lightweight robot intended for microsurgery. Hence, this thing making an incision, threading, and stitching up its delicate patient here, a kernel of a fine ear of corn. The idea is that this machine can replicate the movements of a surgeon's hands and fingers, working in a manner that similar to conventional surgical tools. And as a post on Sony's R&D page points out, this microsurgery assistance robot could ultimately, you guessed it, assist surgeons in microsurgery, not just by aiding with precise surgical operations on small tissues, veins, and nerves, but allowing surgeons to carry out these types of tasks in a stable posture that allows for the resting of the hands, in a manner not unlike Wes Anderson, comfortably showing off his new $2,500 fountain pen. As pointed out by the American College of Surgeons, Robotic surgery is here to stay. As these types of procedures can be less painful and easier to recover from, more ergonomic for surgeons, and will hopefully lead to lower prices in what's expected to be a $26 billion market by 2032 for devices like our friend Dr. Korn. One major leading robotic surgery company, Intuitive Systems, says more than 12 million procedures have been performed with the help of their Da Vinci systems since 2022. And as we told you earlier this year on your news refresh, please subscribe. Even now, NASA has been trying out remote robotic surgeries in space by slicing up rubber bands, which simulate human tissue and offer a glimmer of hope for astronaut Stretch Armstrong's recovery. Sony's microsurgery assistance robot is just a prototype, and before it's able to say, treat an actual kernel for a diet-induced arterial blockage, they claim they're planning to work with universities and medical departments to fine-tune this tech and make it more accessible to doctors. And in case you don't like the idea of a robot finely suturing your skin like a soft kernel of corn, let's hope you never need to make use of the Brain Bridge, the brand new so-called head transplant system shown off on Tuesday that uses robotics and artificial intelligence to carry out one hell of a switcheroo.